Previously on Weeping Devil Mayhaps the Fifth, Nico ignores the rules of consent. V breaks into Dante's house and attempts to stab him. We are reminded that Morrison exists, and Nero continues to be a failure. If you feel confused, it may be because you haven't watched part one of this series, so please go do that. It won't help at all, but it'll make me feel better. For your convenience, to save you the grueling task of typing out the title into YouTube, I have proclaimed the link as my New Testament in the description. Come, disciples of my church, and let us continue our worship. Dante wakes up and immediately beats up a bird, which brings back a nostalgia of him beating up Yurizen. Wait, that's not how it went at all. Alright, so I was completely useless, but you're telling me Nero is up there right now being even more useless? Damn, I better hurry before he gets turned into a devil hunter puree. Objection! That's what I was- Hold it! Look here, Edgy Stolfo. Your undiagnosed scoliosis is just gonna slow me down. If you want me, I'll be over here slaughtering demons. Ciao. Fucking wait. The legendary demon hunter is now playable, and while Deadweight is meant to get you used to the combat system and Kylo Ren is an interesting tangent for the series to go on, Dante is the protagonist and comes equipped with four fighting styles that you can switch between at any moment. Trickster allows Dante to teleport around like a Dragon Ball character. Swordmaster grants him greater proficiency at beating things to death. Gunslinger lets him blab as a cowboy, a very deadly and effective cowboy and Royal Guard brings back his repressed memories of what he saw when under the service of Her Majesty, what he did to protect her and his country. Can he ever be forgiven for all the pain he has caused? This makes him get defensive emotionally and delete every attack thrown at him. As such, it is the most overpowered ability in the game, but requires good timing and knowledge of enemy attacks, so I never use it. The anime Demon Slayer, now on Netflix, walks three feet, plays Tetris with a historic piece of architecture, and fights a rocket launcher. The Crying Devil doesn't just switch between fighting styles, he has a whole array of melee and ranged weapons he can equip. The famed Sword of Discord can be spun around like a dead meme from 2017 and used to airily slice and dice opponents. The kickboxing equipment Dante stole from Sainsbury's is boring at first, but can be swapped between fisting and ass kicking mode, both of which reward dealing quick and heavy damage with guaranteed crits, which let you perform even more crazy moves. There's ranged weapons too, but they're pretty boring. Dante comes across... Okay, I, I don't have a joke for this. What even is that thing? Are those snakes? Tentacles? Is this the next version of that Scissors Man ghost thing? Whatever it is, it spawns demons, and so is a lovely opportunity to test out Dante's weapons. Unfortunately, I have no idea what I'm doing, so take way more damage than I should have, but La Chupacabra still wins by deploying his battle theme, politely informing all demons in the area that... With this, Texas Red kills the beast with a single touch. Yoink! We fight the Muppets Ensemble cast again for the third time in an hour, but this time V and Nero aren't around, so I can actually see what I'm doing. Yoink! Dante continues his casual stroll on his way to save Nero when he... You have Sparta. You should use the Nitro it gives you to boost the server. What the hell is a Nitro? Give me the Nitro boost, or I ban you from the Discord. And it will be an IP ban, no so you idea can't use alternative that accounts to get around it. If you can't give me Nitro, give me your sword! Alright. You're breaking this server's rules! Trolling is not allowed! This fight is one of the best in the game, with enough variety and moves to punish mistakes, but enough predictability so that each one can be avoided. The horse is dead, so there's no more bullshit time mechanics, but this man runs on lightning and will attack you whether you're in his face or eating popcorn a mile away. But for Dante, El exterminador de demonios. this battle isn't just a test of skill, it's an opportunity to teach someone a lesson. Nero began this game by showing us how a boy fixes a car. Now he will be shown how a man fixes a bike. After Dante yoinking the Discord user once more, the lesson can now begin. Dante deletes his Discord account and uses his latent metachlorines to assemble what pieces remain with the motorbike that was so crudely thrown at him earlier, creating the bike. Also, apparently inside the Discord user there was a woman. Not very surprising, to be honest. Hey, V, look, I found you a Discord girlfriend. Take care of her while your crippled buddy heals. Don't take Fucking out. wait three seconds. V 
V, like every red-blooded heterosexual male upon meeting a woman, begins telling her his Marvel origin story. A few weeks ago, that creepy son of a bitch who stole Nero's arm, who is Dante's brother by the way, was dying for some reason. Buy the DLC to find out why. Into every living being goes their ability to be cringe and be based, but the Demon Sword Yamato has the ability to cut the base from the cringe. So, in an effort to save his dying body, he severed all cringe from himself to become a being of pure base. And what forms reared their heads from this were V and, and Yurizen. I hope Dante's making progress towards Nero. It would be a shame if he died just because Dante was playing with his new toy. You mean that bike? Nah, he wouldn't waste his time fucking around with a- I'm fucking around with a bike! The bike is the best weapon in the entire game. It shreds through health and stops whoever it hits from attacking you. It locks Dante in place, so even if he is attacked, he just tanks the damage and doesn't flinch. This weapon is the sole reason I spent most of my playtime as Dante in Swords Master. The newly minted member of anti cage Action comes across a statue of his dad and covers it in blood until it opens up. Their family is fucked up, okay? This leads him to his old house, where Blue catches up to him. Hearing that his brother became Eurozone by stabbing himself with his own sword, Dante decides to give it a shot because self-harm is the only way to true power. Through the summoning of the depressive angst of his teenage years, Dante transforms into Thick Dante and flies all the way to the top of the tree. Eurozone, there will be no collecting of family packs today. You're going to stop growing this tree and stop murdering people. And pay your taxes. <laughs> and pay your taxes. Wait, what? So, you have been sent by the government. Tell me, how does it feel to bow to a foreign monarch? Oh, she made me do so much more than bow. Holy shit, look at this fucking battle, even V couldn't add more particles to this. Super dummy thick devil form or not, Eurozen still packs a punch, but Dante can keep stabbing himself, whilst Eurozen stands noticeably bladeless, so guess who wins? I guess the tax man always wins, doesn't he? I'm not here to make you pay taxes, man. I, I don't know what that was about. You won't defeat me here. If squatting in my mega tree in Hyde Park isn't enough to avoid you, then I'll just have to try something else. Oh shit, oh shit, 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 shit. Where the fuck did he go? Dante's here, V's here, Nero's here, the gang is back together. Oh look, it's Nico and she has a hat. Um, it, it, consider it a gift in honor of us finally meeting. Alright, now that that's over, let's go after you. Shut up, V, I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. Now that our heroes are united, it's time for them to split up. Starting with Dante, because he is literally Nero but better, we fall one level and slay a new breed of mountain goat. These guys can only disappoint. We fall another level and are immediately reunited. Seriously, I replayed this with V and had a Dante and a Nero alongside me. I guess I was just unlucky the first time to be all alone. Making use of this solitude, let's talk about the hat. The hat is an odd item because it uses currency to shoot, but it looks cool equipped and lets you put a hat on anything. ANYTHING to make it drop way more currency. Also, you could unlock interesting abilities with it down the line, but I'll bring that up later. Much like my expectations of future success, Dante keeps falling into more and more hardships. However, unlike myself, il Chattiatore di Divoli has a cool hat and a bike which he uses to murder all of them. Alright, now they're splitting up for real this time. Our anime girl's quest brings him deeper into the- Fuck, my arm. Hey, Nico, I need a replacement. Nero gets his arm refill, but at the cost of finding out that Lady and Nico, like all lesbian couples, have moved in together after the first date. This level is fucking stupid and is 90% walking through shit, to the point where I had to restart the whole thing because I accidentally walked past a battle and a zipline didn't activate. But near the middle, there is this sick fight that has a bunch of standard cannon fodder enemies, followed by two queens, Yas! Nothing boss level, but quite a bit of dumb fun with some challenge later. 
After this, Nero senses that his boyfriend is in danger through their ancient connection where, in another life, they were Irish lesbians under the Tudors burnt at the stake for being witches, despite witch burnings being fairly uncommon in Ireland. Nevertheless, his vida sense is tingling, so let's check on five. He's fucking dying. His scoliosis and osteoporosis are reaching critical levels and his body is falling apart before him. In his weakness, he trips and lands in another dimension. The simple. Your body gets healed, but your pets get steeled. Travel to each boss portal, complete with blinding lights. Choose a pet and fight with it. For the love of God, don't choose Ganondorf or Blue first, or you might have to fight a boss with only them. Eventually, after fighting three reject bosses from Nero and Dante, he gets his pets back and heals his body enough to get to- Oh shit, it's the server admin. I can't get banned now. Not when I'm so close. Don't worry, I'll spam the memes channel to distract him. No way, don't do that, it's slow moded. Bruh. Gay ride five. Hey, 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 so they can what the fuck are you doing? Please stop. What the fuck? Muted, muted, all of you are muted. Who the hell? Ah, well, if it isn't little shit posting Shakespeare, this will be the last time I have to enjoy your Romeo and Juliet smut. Crawl down from your hidey hole up there and take your perma ban like a man. No, this service is not supposed to be more Darling, only I get to be that close to V. What did he just? Just take it, he's saving our lives. Emperor Nero's battle against the server admin is fraught with difficulty, except it isn't because V keeps tossing out free arms. As the server owner, they retain the teleportation powers lost on the disgraced pre-transition user and will try to get into Nero's DMs. But no matter how many bands they dish out, the arms come with VPNs that let him change his IP address to somewhere on the Nicaraguan coast to evade permabands. Left in awe, the admin is open to attack, so Cafe Nero picks up the nearest tomboy and beats him to death with it, alongside their crumbling server. When this is over, we gotta find a cure for this whole broken spine crumbling to dust thing. I don't know what my ma would think if I brought you home to dinner. Why would you- uh, Nero, where the fuck are you putting that hand? Where it never knew it needed to be. As Nero tries to forge the second relationship in this video based on sexual assault, Demi Lovato penetrates a different kind of arsehole, an eternal one, on their mission down the Clyphod to desperately convince their insane now half-demon brother that they aren't here to make him pay taxes, they avoid making the same joke again, find more bats, a war top and two clones of themselves. As they venture deeper, they discover ice. Oh, and a giant pit bull. Oh, fuck it, nukes the ice. This is possibly the best boss in the game. As king of the pit bulls, it has the power of all three elemental nations. It can employ Soviet scorched earth tactics in an attempt to starve Donatello out, steal lightning moves from the aforementioned Discord user, and make the mountain goats look even more pathetic with superior ice attacks. But Devil May Cry is a game about style, and three styles just won't cut it for Don Corneo as he employs his 2x4x3 plus two fighting combinations to mass his way through. After killing the three-headed dog, Daniel Radcliffe finds the Philosopher's Stone, but instead of unlocking immortality, he turns them into nunchucks. Acceptable alternative, to be honest. Oh look, it's the final butthole! Tell Her Majesty, it's too late. You cannot stop my plan now. For the last fucking time, Yurizen, we aren't here to make you pay taxes. With the fall of Bezos, there is a vacuum at the top of Amazon. They seek the one who could cut costs the most. As CEO of Amazon, I would relocate all services to the underworld employ forced ant mutant labor, and use my royalty to avoid all taxation. Your royalty? Oh, yes. Once I eat this apple, I will have ingested enough concentrated British royal blood to be considered a prince. And as a member of the royal family, I will be fully Tax exempt. Why, why are you doing any of this? Millions are stolen from me each year to fund public infrastructure, schools, and hospitals. If I wanted the government to have that money, I would just lobby them. In fact, I think that's the first thing I'm going to do after this. No! Om nom 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 nom. Hmm. That is the best thing I've tasted in years. Well, now that that's over, I see no need for us to quarrel. How about we just part ways here, brother? <laughs> brother? Oh, you fucking idiot. Princes still pay tax?
Okay, you're fucking dying now. The epic fight for the treasury has just begun. Dante didn't come here to make his brother pay, but now he is left with no other option. Eurozone stands tall and mighty, with all of his attacks from before, but now with 300% more mobility. After beating him down enough, he will start attempting to move his business headquarters to Dublin. But Donegal take and teleport, so that was a bit stupid, wasn't it? This also gives us enough time to charge the best attack in the game, using the hat, which maxes out all of Dante's credit cards in order to hit Eurozone with gigantic meteors and take out half his health. But more importantly, put a hat on him. Anyway, now he's dead. Pay your fucking taxes, kids, or Wacky Woohoo Pizza Man will show up at your door and slaughter you. Nero, get your fucking hands off me. Maybe if somebody was a little stronger, he wouldn't need daddy Excuse to- Excuse me, I just killed my brother. Can we please cut this bullshit out for ten seconds? Ah, shit, he's dead. Does this mean I get my arm back? Both of you, shut up. I am literally a being of pure cringe and you're still outgunning me right now. If you get back here, you're the only part of my brother I want to keep around. I've injured enough in the last 15 minutes to get me into the Me Too movement. Just let me have this. Bitch was asking for it. Going outside dressed like- Hero, I will castrate you. Now, Yurizen, I know you want to live. So do not resist when I say these words. I am cringe. And that's based. I will never be based, and that's not cringe. No, you can't bend a wholesome message like that! There's no one I'd rather be than me. So, uh, uh... Bollocks wanker fag bloke. Oh fuck, he's British! It appears devouring thousands of British people has had unintended side effects. You want a fight? Ah, bollocks, you still pack a punch. I'd scrap with you right now, brother, but you're so weak I would certainly win and you would perish. I will be leaving now. Oh, Nero. For some reason, HMRC kept mailing me your child support payments. I considered paying them, but then you fucking molested me. Child support payments? Why would the government give him those? Oh, no. Dante? It's not important. Why did Virgil get my child support payments, Dante? Uh, probably a mailing error. Look, I have to save what's left of London. You never cared about London? Come on, Dante, what the hell are you keeping from me? He's your father! What? Anyway, I'm off to kill him now. Ciao. I was gonna fuck my dad. Looking from space, we see that this dumb tree is the biggest step mankind has made towards the stars in the last 50 years. Dante steals a rocket launcher from a lesbian couple, then teleports the upper atmosphere to the top of the tree to battle his brother in a final fight. But first, he must deal with V-Source's <coughs> widowed pets. Virgil has concentrated all memory of his sexual assault at the hands of his son into them, and they are in constant pain and desire release. Eternal release. All that dark shit is contrasted by how stupid the bird looks in the hat! <laughs> by condensing the oddest feature of the entire game that you have to read the manga to understand into a story about teenage abuse, I have no doubt shocked the single person who cares. But that person is here, in the game, to kill me. As Le Chancier du Diable's Legendaire, I must juggle the stun-locking attacks of Scratch, the range of blue, and pretend I notice Ganondorf. Yet our fabled lore carer has made a grave mistake. They chose to play as fucking Ganondorf, he dies at the end of every Zelda game, fucking idiot. Now the best boys are dead, and it's my fault. Maybe Dante has something to say to ease the pain. Rest in peace, little chicken. It's been a bash. I fucking love you, Dante. But you know who doesn't love Dante? It's Virgil. 
time to finish this. Virgil, was the throne really necessary? Angry that I'm using the tax dollars you desperately want to steal from me for my own comfort? God damn it, not this shit again. I don't care about taxes, Virgil. Just give me some money for Nero. The boy lives in a van with lesbians. If you want it, then you'll have to take it. But you already knew that. I'll make you give what you owe. I owe that boy nothing. You ripped off his arm and used it to destroy the city he lived in just to eat an apple. You owe him everything. And it's time to start paying up. Is that so? Well, sorry to disappoint, brother, but you won't be getting a penny. You ripped off your son's arm for this? You're a failure, Virgil. And you're a pizza gobbling hobo. It's illegal not to pay your taxes, Virgil. But how else can a decent man live? Nero finds a phone booth, feeling tired. He doesn't know what to do anymore. Hello, they tell me this call is coming from central London. How are you even still alive? Boris Johnson? You're a, a, a man of many lovers over the past, I hear. I'm not sure that this is appropriate, but yes, I've had more than my fair share. What would you do if for some reason you could no longer reach one of them? Say they, they metamorphize with your dad or something. Well, that's simple. I jolly well show up to my father's and beat the lover back out of him. True love is hard to find, but you should do anything for a quick shag. That's what my mother always told me. Thank you, Boris. You've got my vote. Only one thing to do now. Virgil refuses to give anyone anything. The government, their taxes, my mother, the child support, and me, my beloved. I have to teach him a lesson. Before Dante kills him, he has to give me back what's mine! I can't get you two to agree. I'm not naive enough to think that. But you're going to kill each other. For what? Power? Taxes? Nero, I told you to stay out of this. Shut up, Davinci. I'm talking. Yeah. 
You can't wacky woohoo pizza man your way out of familial obligations. And Virgil, how about showing up for dinner once in a while? Mom's been worried sick. And wouldn't it be better if you came together as family? <laughs> you know, I don't half mind the sound of that. What do you say, Dante? But you were way stronger as yours in Virgil, I gotta say. Uh, so how about you give me my boyfriend back? It's time to conclude this epic story with a boss battle of a boy asking his father for the simplest of things, to perform mitosis so that he can have a boyfriend. To win, Nero brings a boombox and drops whatever trash he was playing before for this sick shit. He makes use of his new pissed off form to steal not only the orc sword, but Virgil's own sword, stabbing him with it. Knives are thrown, but Nero watched Hell's Kitchen as a child, so easily throws them back. Daddy Dearest attempts to offer a clone of himself as appeasement to the horny twink, but Nero isn't having any of it, so Virgil must unleash its final form, cockily declaring, Nero will never be bustering. Holy shit, Nero is fucking bustering! <laughs> Virgil may be powerful, but he's no match for Nero's decade of experience in the Naughty's gay scene, as every attack is met with giant spectral fists rocketing towards his asshole. In order to keep his rectal cavity intact, Virginia annexes the West and uses the power to cut everything around him in an ultimate attack. But Nero just fucking walks out of it. I, I promise, this move is really sick when you're playing as Virgil. It's too easy to counter here. Taking advantage of his father so kindly standing still, O'Nair plants a bomb in him, drags him into the air, and provides a rapid-fire reenactment of what 2008 did to the British economy. This... really isn't how I want to go. This is the dumbest fucking shit I've ever seen. Virgil, stop trying to kill your son. Nero, stop trying to fuck your dad. What the fuck was that? Hell just burned down the green belt. With nothing left to stop it, the demon city of London will penetrate all of Britain with its suburban sprawl. Oh god, I don't want to live in a world where all of Britain is London. Agreed, brother. We have to head back into the underworld and sever the connection. But you'll be trapped in there. You and V. His name is Virgil, Nero. You have to come out of this denial sometime soon. No, I'm not gonna- Fuck off, deadweight. See you around, Nero. Please, find better love interests. For your mother's sake. I can forgive your actions. I'd be lying if I didn't save a few cheeky pictures for myself. Wait, that's what you've been reading the whole time? Damn right. It's yours now. Don't let it go to waste. Nice. Well, with that over, only one thing left to do. Hey Nico, this arm controls time, right? I'm back, baby! And I'm back in this bitch! Who the fuck? Fuck you, Dad! Alright. Now where's V? Different. Would I have your life? And 